So this next part, I'm sorry to say, is rather boring, but I do promise that the course is going to get an awful lot more exciting as we go along. But we do have to create three rather dull uh, but very, very important pages. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the refund policy, the privacy policy, and the terms of service. And the good news is that Shopify makes that very easy for us. So all we need to do is to come down to settings, go to checkout this time, and then don't worry about any of this stuff, just scroll down towards the bottom and you'll come to this, the refund privacy and terms of service statements. And to generate a refund policy, it couldn't be simpler. You just click on the generate sample refund policy button and there you have it, okay? So what I want you to do is to do that for the refund policy or the privacy policy and for the terms of service and then to click on save. Now all we need to do is to create a page. So let's start with the refund policy. So if we just select all of that text and copy it, and then go to the online store, go to pages. You see the contact us page that we've already created. Click on add page, call it the refund policy. Let me spell that correctly. <laughs> and then simply paste in that text, okay? Now I do encourage you to read it. It is a very, very good start. There's really nothing you need to worry about at this stage, but just read it. Make sure that you are comfortable with all of the statements in there. Once you've done it, click on save. And then just go back to settings, back to your checkout, grab this time the, excuse me, the privacy policy, okay? And create a page for that in the same way and then also the terms of service. So I think you get the idea, you don't need to watch me doing that. So I'm gonna create those three pages and I would ask you to do exactly the same so that we're all good to go in the next lecture.